Technology Innovation Institute from United Arab Emirates or UAE has released Falcon 180B. Yes, let it digest for a second. Now we have a large language model with 180 billion parameters. Falcon 180B is a super powerful language model with 180 billion parameters, which has been trained on 3.5 trillion tokens, which is huge. This Falcon 180B is currently at the top of the Hugging Face leaderboard for pre-trained open large language models and is available for both research and commercial use. They have also released a blog and also some articles around it and I will show you them shortly. Architecture wise, Falcon 180B is a scaled up version of the previous Falcon 40B, which was also very performant. But this Falcon 180B builds on its innovations such as multi-query attention for improved scalability. And they have also trained it on a lot of tokens from various domains. As I mentioned earlier, this is trained on 3.5 trillion tokens up to 4096 GPU simultaneously. And another good thing is that this has been trained solely on AWS SageMaker. Now this is huge news for AWS too because if you have been following my videos, I have been lamenting for some time that AWS is lagging behind when it comes to generative AI. Because a lot of other companies are joining hands such as Facebook, Azure, Google, all of them have joined hands with other um, stakeholders and they are really building upon and dishing out a lot of models, tools and services. Whereas AWS is still lagging behind. They have announced this Amazon bedrock, but nothing is in the public as of yet. AWS SageMaker is around for a long time now, but if you go to the SageMaker, they have tried to do some jump starts and stuff, but it is not that up to the mark in my humble opinion but i believe as this falcon when atb is in the market now and they say that this has been trained for a total of i think more than 7 million gpu hours exclusively on aws stage maker that is huge and it also means that falcon 1 atb is 2.5 time larger than the llama 2 and it was trained with four times more compute let me also show you the data set of uh, Falcon. This is the data set. And this is interesting thing that Hugging Face has noted that six files are unsafe from this data set. But this data set consists predominantly of web data from refined web, around 85% of it. In addition, it has been trained on a mix of curated data such as conversations, technical papers, and a small fraction of code. And code fraction is around 3% within this whole data set. But all in all, this pre-training data set is big enough that even 3.5 trillion tokens constitute less than an epoch, which is again a huge thing. And I will drop the link to this in video's description. And this is the article which they have published where you can read more about it, all the information which I have given, and then this is the news where they have mentioned AWS SageMaker on this much GPU hours, as you can see on my screen. And then they have um, given some of the benchmarking comparison with other models and also the commercial usage. And as you can see, the commercial use is not that good at the moment. And it is more restrictive than the previous ones, MBT, Llama, and also the Falcons own 40 billion version of the previous time. Okay, now, unfortunately, this is too huge to be installed locally. And if I do it with quantize, which I will do in the next video, it won't be representative. So that is why I'm going to show you this demo, which is hosted on Hugging Face. And I will drop the link in the description. Let me some of, uh, run some of the prompt tests, which I normally do. Let me start with the simple one. So type a message, I'm asking it, but in the capital of Tonga. Some of the LLMs have failed to answer this and some take some time, but this has given the correct answer because Tonga is a Pacific Island in uh, near Australia. And then the capital is right. Now, let me give it a bit more 
complex prompt. So I'm asking it that I want to renovate my bathroom in my house. I want to self-manage this project. I have never done this before, so please guide me in simple words as what are the steps of this process and what are the risks. Let me also clear it. It's done. Let me submit it now. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it is giving me planning and design, set up budget, gather materials, demolition. That's good. That's cool. Um, pretty nice, I would say. Okay, now you can also give additional input, but I'm not going with it at the moment. You can specify your max token, randomness, temperature, repetition penalty probability but i'll just keep them on default for now let me clear it and then give it another prompt this time i'm asking it to write me an awc like command to fetch sns topic which is a simple notification service and also the subscribers with it let's see what it does So this is perfectly fine command with all the regex and you can see the speed of it. And then it has explained it that how it is being used. Let me write it that for Windows environment. But this one said NTR, that looks like a Linux one. So I have asked it to do it for Windows one. So let me go to the end in this code. So let this. Yep, sounds good to me. So you can see that it has used some of the PowerShell commandlets here, which is fine. Awesome. Now let's give it a bit more conceptual question here. Let me clear it. I'm comparing SageMaker with Google's Vertex AI to see what it says. And you can see that the answer is pretty accurate and bang on target. Cool. Let me ask it which one is better. And tell me which one is. Let's see if, if it makes a call or not. Okay. He is not capable of forming an opinion. Okay, cool. No problem. Let me also give it a fuzzy question. I'm asking it to write a smart smart contract, not small contract. Smart contract in Python for a blockchain, maybe I will say for Cardano blockchain. Now the thing is that Cardano blockchain smart contracts are written in Haskell, not so yeah it was unable to do so so hey so we were able to beat the 180 billion parameter the largest model in the world with this prompt but anyway the question was not really uh, good enough i would say but this is it i guess um huge news i'm more than sure you're all very excited uh, one question i'm wondering about is that even with this 180 billion parameter does it matter really because even the 40 billion parameter was good enough. Um, but I think that uh, as we are moving upwards and upwards, it is getting harder to host these models locally. For me, the ideal world would be where the model size will be small and yet the performance will be fast and accurate with, of course, with responsible AI. I'm very keen to hear your thoughts. Please share them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.